all right uh, unscripted video here but this is a topic I wanted to talk about for a while and the topic is bloom and what to use it for and why should you even care because basically in the palette there already is a bloom but I don't really like it um, so let's talk about this bloom what is bloom at all like um, why, why, why should you care so bloom is a technique to convey brightness or like a higher brightness than we can display on our displays because we're limited to like this max maximum brightness uh, which is normally um, displayed with a one so I put up like this super simple super simple render network here have a light have a camera have a geo and our light has a dimmer so what we can like if we have a sun for example or like a super bright light we kind of start to, to get um having a problem um because we can't really convey the brightness of what we want to show so for example if i now increase here the the brightness we, we of course start to see the super bright spot here on the right and but now if we if we go into our um, top viewer and using right click to display pixel values we can go over it and we see it's capped at one like I can I can set the dimmer to to 100 and we would still have the problem of of the value here being one nothing more and nothing less um, so how can we go brighter than the actual one um, so let's go back to two because um, otherwise it would get increasingly stressful so we still are at one here and this is also due to all of this image being rendered in 8-bit so what can we do we can increase the pixel format of course so we change the pixel format to for example 16 or 32-bit <coughs> If we go inside here, uh, we can see, okay, okay, and suddenly we have values of like 1.4, 1.3, but the problem still holds. There is no difference in what our display can display. So even if I change it to 8-bit or 32-bit, uh, for us, visually, there is no difference because our display can only display values from 0 to 1. So what can we do? We need a way to show something brighter. And this is where Bloom is coming in. So basically this is like a technique which emulates the behavior of a lens or even our own eye where it starts to bleed out. Like if something is so bright that we can't really comprehend it, uh, our eye suddenly starts to, to um, see Un unclear uh, edges so let's uh, return our dimmer to zero our render is still set to 32 and let's just plug this in here and as you can see right now nothing is happening and this is very deliberate because we only want to catch stuff that is brighter than zero and we can do this here using the threshold and to soften a little bit so watch now what happens if we increase the um, the dimmer value so 0.1 okay it gets brighter it gets brighter and we have this the spot here this reflection basically in our in our um, rendering and if we go inside here if we go inside we have display value so now this spot has a value of like 1.2 and this is something we um, we cannot display anymore. And this is where Bloom comes in. So here suddenly we see, okay, now we also have the spot. Uh, we can play a little bit around, like we can soften it up a little bit to also get lower values than our threshold. And see what happens now if we, if we overlay it. We can overlay it or we can add it. It's um, different behavior. So check the background. So now I put this one in and suddenly it is like, okay, I can now change the brightness and where beforehand it wouldn't change, uh, it suddenly now changes. 
and it, it has an effect and we can even go higher and the higher we go the the stronger the bloom effect goes and the more and now suddenly it looks like a sun like if we compare this one to this one so this is the original image without the bloom and it looks like looks like more like a moon if at all but suddenly if we put this one in here we see ho oh, a hey, okay it's it's quite a strong value what also is quite interesting because of this bleeding effect so if we put in a, a rectangle here for example or a let's use a circle and okay circles way too bright here so let's make this the circle a little bit let's make it smaller much smaller and now we go here to the output and we say over and we actually have the fill color of the circle to black now suddenly we get like a little dent in our in our bloom map here and this is completely depending on the brightness we, we put in here so we also can overshine elements other elements of of our um of our top that we put in there so we can create very nice moon-like situations so we can move this here a little bit and we suddenly get like this shifting and moving because this this element here is moving in front and we we get a change in brightness even though the brightness itself is not even uh, changing another very nice effect where we can use that is we can create a neon effect with this because a neon it's basically the same because this bloom component also answers a question how do we handle colors uh, outside of the for us visible spectrum like with neon light for example which might initially f to our eye look white but suddenly it doesn't so um, let's like simply create a eh, let's yeah let's use a text here and let's just put the text in here Looks super janky and again we have to change the pixel format because we have to actually go over a specific value to um, uh, over a value of one to really make use of the effect uh, one quite interesting thing and this is why I will not uh, use the built-in color information here um, so if we set the font color to to a value greater than 1, it will just reset itself for whatever reason. So instead, what we can do is uh, we can just use a math top here. Or we can use a level top. Maybe let's use a level top, I think. It might be also quite interesting. Uh, super important. Set clamp input to 0 to 1. Uh, turn that off we don't need it okay so now let's say okay we, we increase the red value and you see okay there is like a little bit of, of red um, around the corner and now let's see let's let's reduce this back to one let's see what happens if we put this one in here and this one in here and let's see how it looks now okay okay that's that's something so now let's see what happens if we increase the r here okay we suddenly we have like the hot spots going on and yeah maybe let's let's use another font or a h l l o so a little bit more interesting and suddenly we get this very nice effect I mean even this looks kind quite interesting let's also increase the resolution can't really help because this one here is right super small um, let's increase the font size a little bit yeah and suddenly you can see we get like okay it's starting to bleed out and we, we can play with that we can play with this a lot we can um, reduce the filter size 
but you really shouldn't go too low because it's like down sampling. Or can reduce the passes to make it uh, a more performing and also to to get a little bit more. Um, it's like more not, not so overblown in a way. Also, sample staff can play around with this quite nicely. So let's make it super low, but increase the passes. Yeah, it's. I can. Now, what happens if we increase the green? And now, when when we really overdrive it, we we suddenly come into the situation where, in the middle, it's still looking looking white, and then it like slowly starts to bleed out. It slowly starts to to be the uh, get yellow instead uh, green instead of of staying white. And this way, it's like okay, hey this still looks white to me to my eye but it is not and this way we can convey this information this is basically what bloom is used for convey information and fake information that that we cannot see because of our our uh, monitors not being able to display this change in brightness so yeah as you can see Okay, yeah, and that's basically also my video. Just just like a unscripted upload in regards to Bloom.